This is a quick video about a new update from Zoom. It's related to custom functions. So we tried, for example, this morning to run a very basic function and we got a failure on it. Uh, when we researched a bit, we saw that there is a connection that's supposed to be established. Usually those connections are established when you are trying to connect to a third party application let's say Zoho books to Zoho CRM and so on. So now it looks like Zoho are changing the way that the custom function works and you will need the connection. In order to create the connection, you will need to go to your connections under developer space. You will need to create a new connection, okay? The connection that you want to choose will be Zoho Auth. So this is the guy, Zoho Auth. The name of the connection, like that's a new CRM, and it needs to be all in one word, okay? So let's say uh, new Zoho CRM. From the items below, you will need to choose the Zoho CRM and something. For example, my function is going to work based on uh, modules. So I will select the modules all, this guy, and that will include all the modules and everything with them. Uh, I also like to uh, have the ability to process functions, and that will be those guys. Okay, so create and read. Yeah, and that's awesome. Okay, so let's copy this line. Okay, and let's go down and create an at the connection, it needs to authenticate, so we'll say connect. Now it's asking where you want to do it. Right now I'm on this sandbox, so I will just click on this sandbox and click on accept. Good, so now you see that it's saying that the connection was added, it's all good. Now I can go back and at the end of the function, the last parameter will be in quotes will be the connection name. And it's important to have a quotes. If you don't have quotes, it will not work. And now when I am ex executing, you will see that I am getting the response, okay? So that's a new update that uh, you need to consider. So if your function fails, just know why it's failing, okay? Good luck.